one of the figures, and you've mentioned him several times throughout the interview, that was the subject of widespread criticism was Mayor Nagin. What was it like dealing with him and the chaos of this storm? Mayor Nagin was uh, a mayor who had never served in public office before he became mayor of New Orleans. And he was a peculiar sort in that he didn't trust anybody. And this, ha this was before the storm. This was well known about him before the storm. He was suspicious of everybody and everything. And he was hard to communicate with openly and honestly from the beginning. So now you layer on uh, you know, the, the, the storm uh, emotion for him and uh, his city is destroyed and he thinks that everybody's a booger bear and um, it, you know, it, it became very difficult. And then the communication system went down. So every 504 number that existed was flooded out when the central offices of Bell South got flooded. The central office is not an office building with where rooms of people are working. It's the office where all of the phone lines meet and connect to each other so that the world can communicate with people in the 504 district uh, or region. So every 504 number went down when the central office went down and it was nearly impossible. We could talk on satellite phones to people in Washington, D.C. or Baton Rouge when we were in New Orleans, but we couldn't call anybody who had a phone number that was based in the New Orleans area. So it became very, very difficult. We had liaisons who would try to transmit information to each other. I would go into the city looking for him. Uh, every now and then, I could not find him. Sometimes I could find him. And um, it, was, um, it was tough. And I think he was told by, by his police chief that people were gunning for him. So he got very afraid and didn't want to come out. Um, and, you know, rumors destroy uh, every effort that you have going. Um, you know, you have to keep a clear head. You have, to, you have to put your emotional life on the shelf and you have to do clear analysis. And in those days, that's what we needed and it was the ingredient that was most missing.